Hello, everyone. My name is Tanisha Jones. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm the director of programs at the Theater Offensive. I want to thank you for tuning in with us today for this episode of Radical Futures. Before we get into all the stuff about what this episode is about, I would first like to talk about the land that the Theater Offensive and perhaps even you are on. TTO creates work in Boston, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Wampanoag, the Nipmuc, and the Massachusetts people. We believe it is important to understand and honor the history of the indigenous land we are on while recognizing that just saying this is not enough. It does not undo the history of violence towards indigenous people. Our organization and staff pledge to hold space and take small steps forward towards a future of decolonization and reconciliation. You can also visit native-land.ca to find out whose land you are on. Also, in the tradition of art made by queer and trans people of color, we want to create a healing and sacred space within the chat function of this YouTube broadcast. To create the sacred and sacred space, we are setting some community standards to prevent further trauma and or oppression to QTPAC community members. We invite you to feel how you want to feel, to speak from your own experiences, and to claim your own emotions, struggles, and express your wants and needs as such. No cyberbullying of any kind will be tolerated in this sacred and brave space. If such incidents happen, we will remove posts immediately so that other folks can process their respective thoughts, emotions, connections, and questions in the chat function. We thank you in advance for helping us maintain and defend this sacred space. Ashe. Thank you for joining us for this Radical Futures Activate Portal 6 Angel Music for the Wilani Forest. As a continuation of the Activate Portal series, Anaka will create the Activate Portal 6 in Atlanta, Georgia by performing to the trees and revolutionaries protecting them in this sacred Wilani Forest. As a descendant of these Muscogee and Cherokee lands, Anaka will perform angel music as a biofrequency medicine for the land, the people, and beyond. Anaka applies ancestral root work techniques to all of their artistic and cultural practices. Anaka utilizes visual, herbal, and sonic preservation as a tool to reclaim severed wisdoms due to echoing generational disturbances global colonization has caused. Since 2012, Anaka has cultivated an ethnographic project entitled Activate, an original archive created with the intention to document and strengthen the heartbeat of the global indigenous movement and rituals of our current time. Activate is an archive, a research center, land preservation project, as well as a creative studio for stories being told that honor sacred wisdom. The intention is to bridge the gap of reverence that exists between the institutional arts world and the traditional stories of the very much still existing ancient cultures of Afro-Indigenous people. Activate Portal experiences have been touring the world since 2021, gracing places such as NYC, LA, and Paris in order to share the Activate archives and its sacred wisdoms in a safe space. Through this work, Anaka advocates for the rights of the artists and healers desiring the freedom to exchange wisdom in sovereign spaces. Now, without further ado, let me introduce Anaka. Okay. Give thanks for life, give thanks for love, give thanks to the earth, the waters, the air, the fire, the ether. We are protected in all directions, as above, so below. Ashe yo. Hi, 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 hi,
Boom. Waters, healing all the waters. Waters, waters, 
Watch out, watch out, you're thinking go too strong, powerful thoughts last real long, you got more power than they letting on, throw it out west, look to the north, woven in the waves of the universe, you are one. You are one. Stay true. Don't let these people make you doubt yourself or hate yourself or question yourself. You know what's up. Watch out, watch out. You think you go too strong. Powerful thoughts last real long.
Bless up, bless up. Give thanks for life, everybody. Give thanks for love. Just want to say, um, you know, my name is Anaka. <laughs> I'm like, let me just talk a little bit. Um, bless up, everybody. My name is Anaka. Give thanks to the Theater Offensive and Radical Futures and Activate Portals for this experience. This is Activate Portal 6, Angel Music for the Wilani Forest. Um, my family's from Augusta, Georgia. Shout out all my Georgia people. Had to come down here and do a performance so we could honor the beautiful forest and honor the way that we don't want Cop City. So, you know, just out here to say, stop Cop City, defend Atlanta Forest, protect the protesters, the protectors out here. Um, shout out everybody who's been protecting the trees, who've been going to the city council and speaking their mind. No matter what, Cop City will never be built. Sheyo, Sheyo. Bless the angels and guides and protectors of this space. Bless my lineage. Bless all of your lineage watching. Hope you enjoy this angel music. Um, the first few songs are off my project Angel Music EP. And now I'm playing some new songs. Um, so please enjoy and thank you so much. Sheyo. Even with tears in my eyes, I'm the baddest.
want to thank you all so much for tuning into our very last episode of Radical Futures. You know, I think we went out on a good one, y'all. <laughs> this small series of events is a part of an annual series of artist offerings and workshops titled Radical Futures, which lives in our Queer Republic programming. Throughout this year's Radical Futures, we were dedicated our energy towards a celebration of artistic practice, healing, and ritual reflected in QTPAC femme-led art. Through intentional collaborations with three QTPAC femme-led artists, we investigated themes of wholeness, unreality, space and segregation, healing, lineage and time travel, and belonging to write a love letter to this craft and to ourselves. Radical Futures goals are to honor Black feminism, its legacy and crucial role in queer liberation, to acknowledge that Black women and femmes are inherently valuable and that our artistic joy and practice is inherent activism, to practice collective care as an essential ingredient in solidarity uh, as well towards collective liberation, and to amplify Black women, femmes, and gender expansive individuals. If you are interested in supporting our organization or any of the future Queer Republic programming, please visit us at thetheateroffensive.org. The link is in the chat right now. Also, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us here for this lab episode of Radical Futures. And for those of you who've been following us since the very, very beginning of the series, we want to thank you doubly. <laughs> I am Tanaja Jones again, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to sign off now. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.